Yo, Kurt, you've been out here on Monroe and Fed a long time. <laughs> Who you telling? I've been on this corner since that Lambo was over there was a goddamn twig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a soldier. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess you've seen the younger ones coming up, seen a lot of people come on the corner for the first time. Uh, do you know uh, Gary McCullough? Oh, yeah. Gary. Gary had it going on. Money, cars, houses. You split that stock market. Gary's making crazy money before he stumbled. <laughs> Gave a lot of it away, too. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. To who? People around the way. Anyone who needed it, really. <laughs> Gary was always soft. Good heart. Let me ask you something. Why did he fall? Started fooling around with that pipe. Gary McCullough started out on crack. And that ready rock changed the whole game around. Used to be different. Used to be rules of this shit. But with that rock, you saw people becoming drug addicts. Made Heron look like it wasn't shit. Wasn't men folk either. You had women on the pike, children too. And that's when it really started getting bad. Yeah, but in, but in Gary's case, I mean, what led him to the corner at all, do you think? Well, I look at it like he got hurt. He gave so much away and so little came back, you know. You know how it is, you know. But the world could be that way. So he's hiding the hurt in the drugs. Man, he's just like everybody else, looking for a little love. Everybody got to have some love. <laughs> is there love in drugs? Shit. So what is there? I mean, I'm asking. And I'm telling you. Every motherfucking dope fiend out here is chasing after something. Never quite getting there. So what are you chasing, Kurt? Well, let me tell you something. When you get that first shot of dope, it's the best motherfucking feeling in your life. It's better than sex. And every time after that, you looking for the first time, over and over again. And? 